welcome to Pirate News. I'm Edward Wolf. And I'm Ronnie Castaneda. Today we will cover campus events, scene hall sports, and the five-day weather forecast. The School of Diplomacy will be hosting a lecture with Nora Hamblaji, a representative of the UNDP. The lecture will be held on Friday, May 3rd. The lecture will detail Nora Hamblaji's experiences in the Middle East and Africa, as well as various methods of the UN for post-conflict resolution and international governance. The event will be located in Stafford Hall, room 110, from 12.30 to 4 p.m. RSVP is required for attendance. If you are interested, contact Cheyenne Bishop at cheyenne.bishop at student.shu.edu. Scene Hall Student Program invites you to its final production of the season, The Spitfire Grill by Fred Alley, James Valk, and Lee David Zlotoff at the South Orange Performing Arts Center. A compelling musical about a young woman, a feisty parolee, who has dreams of a new life. Admission is free and showtimes are Thursday, May 2nd, Friday, May 3rd, and Saturday, May 4th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, May 5th at 2 p.m. For more information, contact Danielle Clements at danielle.clements at shu.edu. Due to popular demand, on Friday, May 3rd, from 9.30 to 11 a.m. in the Faculty Lounge, the workshop entitled Project Syllabus, Shoe Edition, which took place during the fall semester, will be brought back. Amy Hunter, editor for an initiative entitled Project Syllabus, which is a compendium of peer-reviewed psychology syllabi, will show how to evaluate syllabi using an empirically-based rubric. For more information, contact Mary Bulkin at mary.bulkin at shoe.edu. Senior Rachel Haggerty, a student in the Visual and Sound Media program within the College of Communication and the Arts, was recently accepted into the National Association of Broadcasters Technology Apprenticeship Program, a competitive opportunity that accepts less than 10 applicants nationwide. Over, over six months, students in the program are exposed to the broadcast, engineering, and technology industry through a series of activities that refine their skills and prepare them for a successful career post-graduation. And now we'll head over to Veronica Gale with your Scene Hall Sports Update. Veronica? Hello, Pirate fans. Veronica Gale here with your Scene Hall Sports Update. Sunday, the Scene Hall baseball team played against the Butler Bulldogs with a final score of 9-4, putting the Pirates at 18-22 in overall play and 4-5 in the Big East Conference. Chris Villa was the leading scorer for the Pirates, going 3-4 for four and 2 RBIs. Freshman David Festa allowed two runs over five innings, and Hunter Waldis only allowed one hit in three innings. Also, Pirates' Shoulder McAvoy was named Big East Player of the Week, leading the Pirates with his 529 batting average. On Monday, basketball coach Kevin Willard was named the co-recipient of the 2019 Met Writers Coach of the Year Award. Willard is one of the only two coaches to receive this award three times, and this makes the sixth all-time Coach of the Year Award that has been awarded to the Pirates. Willard earned this award because after being picked to finish eighth in the Big East, the Pirates came in second and made it to the NCAA tournament for the fourth year in a row. Congratulations, Coach Willard, on this prestigious award. Lastly, the Seton Hall golf team tied for third place in the Big East tournament. Yom was the best golfer for the Pirates, tying for eighth with a 76, 70, 75, and 221 in the final round. The Pirates scored three over par and ended 27 strokes behind the Big East winner, Marquette. Seton Hall's total score was 899, the lowest in six years. Congrats to the Seton Hall golf team on their achievement. And that's a wrap for your Scene Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Veronica Gale. Now back to Ronnie and Edward with more of the news you need to know. Join SAB to see the Yankees take on the Twins Saturday, May 4th at 1.05 p.m. A ticket to the event includes round-trip transportation and entrance in the Yankee Stadium. All other purchases must be at the students' expense. This event is for Scene Hall undergraduate students only, and they must show a valid SHU ID before getting on the bus. Tickets are $15 and go on sale Thursday, April 25th at noon and 6 p.m. On Saturday, May 4th, the Department of Physics is hosting a Lego building event in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing by building Lego rocket ship replicas. Starting at 10 a.m., students in groups of 4 to 6 will assemble a NASA Apollo 5 Lego kit until the event ends at 3 p.m. The cost of this event per team is $150. The event will take place in the McNulty Atrium. Contact Jose Lopez at jose.lopez1 at shu.edu if you have any questions or concerns. Now we'll head over to Brian Hennel with your five-day weather forecast. Brian? Thanks, Ronnie, and hello there, Pirates. This is Brian Hennel here with your five-day weather forecast. Today, break out your raincoats as there will be scattered showers throughout the day with a high of 53 and a low of 50. Tomorrow, there will be scattered showers yet again with a high of 76 and a low of 50. Showers will stop overnight going into Friday where we'll see cloudy skies with a high of 67 and a low of 57. The rain will return again over the weekend with more scattered showers Saturday and a high of 69 and a low of 55. Finally, for Sunday, there will be Showers once again with a high of 64 and a low of 52. 
That's all for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Brian Hennel. Now back to Edward and Ronnie with more of the news you need to know. On Monday, May 6, Seen Hall University's choral program will present its annual spring choral celebration. The university chorus will present movements from Mozart's Vespere, Solanus de Confessori, K339, and shorter works by Rosa Fane Powell, Samuel Barber, Aaron Copeland, and Johann Brahms. The Seen Hall University Chamber Choir will present the premiere of Gwyneth Walker's Holy Water and Notes Almost Divine. Also presented will be works by Renberger and Moses Hogan. The event will begin at 7.30 p.m. at the Sopak Theater. Need a break before finals? If you find yourself stressed out, go to the front of President's Hall on Monday, May 6 at 10.30 a.m. to find a de-stress pop shop. Free goodies such as coloring books, stress balls, and more will be given away. Good luck on finals, Pirates. For more information, contact Anna Kalka at anna.kalka at shu.edu. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Ronnie Castaneda. And I'm Edward Wolf. Thanks for watching and have a great day.